something? No, don't worry. I'm fine. Oh my god. What's the matter? Hey, get a hold of yourself. She's had these episodes ever since she was a little girl. Whenever she starts making a friend, that seems to be when it happens. I just felt a little dizzy and got my feet tangled up. I'm sorry I made you worry about me. Maybe you're anemic. Should we go have a doctor check you out? Mm -mm, no. I think I just need to get some rest. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Is there a connection between the person you're looking for and my dreams? I feel like there might be. <laughs> I kind of doubt that's the case. The girl in my dreams isn't me, but rather another version of me. I'm not sure why exactly, but she seems to be suffering. I think I really have to see more of these dreams, because then maybe I'd be able to understand her, maybe even help her. And if I could, well, I don't know what would change for me, but I just feel like I need to do it. Miss Suzu. Yeah? I think I'm gonna have to be leaving you soon. Because if I stay with you any longer, neither one of us is going to survive. I think the only thing I can really do at this point is get away from you. Bye then. Please promise to take care of yourself. All right. You take care too. Stay strong no matter what, you hear? Mm -hmm. Even when I'm alone, I'm strong. I'm a tough kid, remember? Yeah. Bye now. If I really stop to think about it, Sky, I've been alone my whole life. And now it looks like I'm gonna be alone forever. Which is okay, because even when I try my best, I still end up causing people trouble. There's not one good thing about me that I can think of. I should have just accepted it like I have always done. I should never have learned to love anyone. <laughs> in the world. Yukito came back to me. I wasn't sure that he would, but he did come back to me in the end, didn't he? And in the dream, he said something to me that I'm always going to cherish. Let's rest here. 
you for a bit. I guess I'll have my usual, the weird juice. Wait, wait, it's her. I bet you'll never guess what I've been up to. I've been working to make sure you can stay here with me forever. Because, you know, you're not really my kid. Any day you could be taken by the Tachibana family. That's why I couldn't get too close to you, even though we live together. I figured if I started thinking of you as my own, it would just be harder to give you up. I kept trying to prepare myself for the day someone would come take you away from me. But it was all for nothing. I fell in love with you anyway. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. I made up my mind that I was gonna adopt you for real. So I staged a good old-fashioned tantrum in front of the Tachibana house, and they finally decided to let me keep you. <laughs> I wanted to show off because you were watching. So I raised my hand even though I didn't know the answer. And then you came over and gave me a whack in front of everybody there. For me. Oh, what's the matter? Are you still sleepy, honey? Who are you? Hmm? Who are you and why are you here? Uh, huh? What the hell is going on here? Keisuke? Who is he? Miss Suzu, I'm your father, and I want you back. <laughs> Say thank you to your aunt, and we'll be on our way. Keske! Keske, no, wait! Three days! Just give me three days! If after three days she says she doesn't want to stay with me anymore, then okay, you can take me, Suzu, away from me. I just need a little more time with her before she has to decide. I'm begging you, Keske, please. <sighs> just three days. Can I build a whole mother-child relationship in that time? Misuzu, are you all right? Got it! I'll be happy if I can just spend the day with her. That's all I really want. It may just have to be enough. <laughs> <laughs>